Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to episode 70 of season four of Be With Me. Title today, theme today is The Courage of the Velvet Bricks of God. And we're going to talk about the courage of Nicodemus and the courage of Christian relationship, the courage of Christian friendship. The context of this is now Jesus has been done talking with Nicodemus. And he said some just world uh, changing things. Number one, you must be born again. Um, that your first birth wasn't enough, that you have to have a spiritual birth. And then he said, then he says the most famous verse in the Bible, the most famous verse in the world. He doesn't give it to the world first. He gives it to Nicodemus. And that is for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. The context is Nicodemus has come with real questions. He comes in a real nighttime, in real fear, and he's given these real treasures, and he makes a real decision. We don't find out about that during this passage. So this is all in John chapter 3, and the next time we hear about John, or, uh, Nicodemus is in John chapter 7, and it demonstrates the courage of, of Nicodemus. The people are fighting over whether Jesus is real or not. There's division among the people. This is 744. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. The officers then came to the chief priests and the Pharisees, of which Nicodemus was one of them, who said to them, why didn't you bring him in? And the officers answered, no one spoke to us like this man, so their world is getting rocked by Jesus too. Then the Pharisees answered them, have you too been deceived? Have any of the authorities in the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd that does not know the law is accursed. And then here it is, verse 50. Nicodemus, who had gone to him before, and who was one of them, said to them, Does our law judge a man without first giving him a hearing and learning what he does? And then they, the other Pharisees, turn on Nicodemus and they say, they replied, are you from Galilee too? Search and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. So Nicodemus here, we find him courageous and risking. He risks membership and identity with this group. And eventually he's going to risk his life. And he asks a great question. Does our, our law judge a man? So Nicodemus here demonstrates real friendship to Jesus. He asks a good question. He asks a real question. He seeks a hearing and, and asks to be listened and con considered and kind of says to the Pharisees, we could be wrong about this, and in so risks relationship with these guys. So then the next time we hear about Nicodemus, so that might be, I don't know, let's say a year or two after uh Nicodemus's first exposure to Jesus. And then probably close to three years, certainly a, a, a good bit of time, then Jesus is crucified. This is from John 1941. It's finished. Jesus bows his head, gave, the, gave up his spirit. They break the legs of the other uh, the robbers. They pierce Jesus' side. And then this is John 1938. After these things, Joseph of Arimathea, who was a disciple of Jesus, but secretly for fear of the Jews, because there was a lot to be afraid of, asked Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus. And Pilate gave him permission. So he came and took away his body. Nicodemus also, who earlier had come to Jesus by night, came bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes and 75 pounds in weight. They took the body of Jesus, bound it in linen cloths with the spices, as is the burial custom of the Jews. Now in the place where Jesus was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden of the tomb, which no one had let been laid. So because of the Jewish day of preparation, since the tomb was close at hand, they laid Jesus there. So this is really an act of incredible uh, courage. Why? Because we know that the Jews could, were capable at that time in that place of plots and plans and literally murder. Crucifixion of these guys was at risk by, by identifying with Jesus in this way. And I love that Nicodemus brought 75 pounds of expensive stuff, not because of the money, 
but because of the planning that it required, the foresight that it required, the real commitment that it required. All right. So first, I think that there is an example, the true friendship of God coming alongside saying, hey, you might not be as terrific as you think. That's what we see in the church all the, all the time. And one's association with the true friendship of God has implications in our true friendships. That is, when we stand in, we stand with God, that's courageous. I had a friend that was known as the velvet brick, the velvet brick, and I want to leave that image. So the, the courage of the velvet brick. So here's the brick part of being a Christian, is in friendship, we say to our fellow, those that we're in fellowship with, Hey, you're not perfect. You're you're not all the way there as far as Christian holiness. In in a sense, you're not okay. So the people I do fellowship with e- e- each week, I'm so encouraged that they keep coming because this is what they what we say in the church is you're not okay. Keep going. The velvet part is fellowship, though. That's the part where you do it with love, and that's the friendship part of the call higher. So the courage that Nicodemus is demonstrating here, I think, which is part of the Christian walk, is the courage to be the brick. That is, you can do better. And when you say that to people, it usually requires some courage. So you have a courage to hold on to the truth and to have a real walk with the Lord. The velvet part of it, which I think is uh, the love part uh, of fellowship, is you do it with the gentleness and love and care and in context and in and in ongoing Christian relationship. So my call today for me and all of us is let's have the courage, like Nicodemus, who demonstrated so well, let's have the courage to be the velvet bricks of God. Thank you for listening. May God go with you in your brickiness, and in your velvetness. See you tomorrow.